Last year, during interviews that led to the call for me to be your rector in the interim at Church of the Good Shepherd, the search committee and the vestry wanted to talk to me about their desire to have a campaign to raise the funds to repair or replace the pipe organ. Such campaigns aren't ordinarily done during transitions between rectors, and they wanted to be sure I was comfortable uh, with the idea. They told me about the successful campaigns to raise the funds to uh, renovate the buildings and to restore the windows, and said they didn't want to lose the, their momentum because the next item on the agenda is a parish hall sometime after the new rector arrives. I affirmed their commitment and their conviction and expressed my opinion that churches that continue to pursue their vision and mission, even without a rector, are more likely to call a dynamic leader as their next rector. I told them that if they were committed to this project and believed the resources were there, I was more than willing to help raise the funds. At the November vestry meeting, following the fall parish election, with the five new vestry members present, I asked for a reaffirmation of support for a capital campaign. The response was unanimous in favor of moving forward. We appointed an organ committee and charged them with returning a report with recommendations by March the 15th of 2011. The committee did a marvelous job and they presented their findings to the vestry on that date. They recommended that we should replace the organ with a new one that may cost up to $1.75 million. Once again, the vote of the vestry was unanimous in support of this project. We asked the organ committee to find a builder and develop a final proposal for a new organ. We also appointed a capital campaign committee with the mission of raising the funds to pay for it. The organ committee is about to reach a decision regarding an organ builder and the capital campaign to replace the pipe organ is about to get underway. The first phase of the campaign involves solicitation of leadership gifts that will amount to about 80% of the ultimate amount raised. We have assurances that whatever amount is raised beyond what is needed for the project will be the beginning of an endowment to maintain the new organ. In order for the campaign committee to approach potential givers, it's important to the integrity of their mission for each of them to make a personal commitment to this very worthy project. It's also important for them to be able to assure potential contributors that the key leaders of this congregation and this campaign have already made their pledges. The time has come for the leadership to step forward boldly and express their commitment to this endeavor. We need your pledge of financial support. The advice of St. Paul couldn't be more appropriate for this moment in time. He wrote to the Corinthians, and in this matter, I'm giving my advice. It is appropriate for you who began last year not only to do something, but even to desire to do something, now to finish doing it, so that your eagerness may be matched by completing it according to your means. For if the eagerness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what one does not have. We have created a form for your use in making your leadership pledge, and we'll be sending that to you. The Capital Campaign Committee will have its next meeting on Monday, May 23rd. We need 100% participation by the Vestry, the Organ Committee, the Rector Nominating Committee, and the Capital Campaign Committee at that time so they can proceed with their mission. Bearing in mind the advice of St. Paul, Please let your gift reflect your eagerness. As to the amount of your pledge, remember that our aim is not equal amounts, but equal sacrifice. As to the timing of your contributions, we're asking that pledges be fulfilled by October of 2014. If you would like to speak with me confidentially about your pledge, please let me know. This is a great undertaking, and it will impact worshipers for years to come would also impact the calling of a new rector. It is the right thing to do, and it is the right time to do it. And most of all, God will be glorified.